How's it and Jack Tackers, and welcome back to another video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be doing my review for Season 2, Episode 11 of Riverdale, entitled The Wrestler. Let's get into this. Now, there's definitely a lot to talk about here, but there's just like a couple major storylines that I want to talk about, and that, uh, strictly being kind of like the mythos of Riverdale, we get a little more backstory to Pickens Day, and uh, the South Side and the North Side, and what's going on with them, and then also the relationship dynamic kind of with uh, Archie and Hiram, and everything going on with them, which honestly was just super intense, and just every time they were on screen, I was just like glued to my television, and I, I, I mean, that's how you know that those scenes were good, and this episode, for me, was really interesting, and, and it was just like, it was good, and I really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, definitely better than last week's episode, I'd say. Not that last week's episode was bad, but I definitely found myself liking this episode a lot more. Um, and then the other uh, storylines uh, include uh, Betty's uh, brother, uh, Chick, and um, him being a web camera, like, <laughs> okay, which... It's so int- it, I don't know, like, this episode left me feeling interested and just so excited to see more, and I, yeah, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the uh, Archie and Hiram dynamic uh, and their relationship, finding out why Hiram doesn't like Archie necessarily because of his dad, and Archie's like, I'm not my dad. That's the one negative about Riverdale is that everyone thinks that, um, you know, the kid's parents... Uh, are bad, so then that they'll rub off on the kid, and you know, like they're their own person. Come on, guys, come on. That's the only thing that bugs me, but uh, hopefully, you understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I love this episode um, with them, especially in the wrestling, and uh, you know, just Hiram being just kind of like intimidating and just such a presence towards Archie, and it was just really intense, and uh, that's that's what I enjoyed most about this. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the mythos of Riverdale, if you want to call it that, um, you know, when Jughead was interviewing, uh, Tony's, uh, granddad, uh, grandfather, and they all march in, um, the Pickens Day Festival or whatever with the maple, uh, snow cones, and they're all protesting, kind of, they got the duct tape on their mouths, and they gotta share what's happened, you know, there's a massacre, basically, there's a slaughter, um, and Hiram, Pretty much, uh, or their ancestors, I mean, you know, I don't know if it was necessarily, I kind of forgot, honestly, if it was Hiram, or, I don't think it was Hiram, but, because that wouldn't make sense, but, they, uh, let in, uh, the Pickens dude, um, which we find out the statue, its head is cut off at the end of the episode, which I'm not sure why that's a reason, but, yeah, uh, I'm sure we'll find out more about that in the next episode, in the following episodes of this season, um, but yeah, it was it's just interesting, and I want to kind of see more of, like, the Riverdale mythos. Like, I want to see more of the history of Riverdale, because I think there's a lot to discover there. And I, I think that's just kind of an interesting fact of the show that we haven't really explored too much about. So I'd like to see more of that. Uh, the only really other big storyline that I was talking about, like I said, was Betty's brother, Chick. Uh, he's just kind of strange in the last scene they shared together. Um, with Betty and Chick um, on the bed was just kind of interesting. Uh, so now we're going to kind of go into light predictions for episode 12. Um, Dark Betty looks like she's returning and looks like she's going to be an Omega webcam girl. Like, ooh, yeah. Um, no, she has the black wig on and she kind of ha- just has like a bra on, a sports bra or whatever. And she's getting all sexed up, if you know what I mean. Um, so that's interesting, I guess. And we're getting more of Dark Betty, and, and Chick says it's kind of an escape, um, you know, from the outside world and the darkness he feels inside of him. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's pretty crazy, I must admit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this episode. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, uh, or this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Boop.